Hi, this is Amrita from Mommy Shots by Amrita. I'm a newborn and child photographer based in India. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be talking about how to use one light in three different creative ways, showing you completely different lighting techniques. Just about any design on a boom stand. It points downward close to a 45 degree from the back of the backdrop onto the floor in front. And what we also have here is a reflector for the light. So cutting into this, this is where the photographer is standing and this is a setup. Okay, so setup number one is going to be with harsh light. See the light that is placed on the top left corner of the model pointing down to her shoulder and to her head. So I have light falling over on her head, her chest, a little bit of the bump. But because she's standing sideways, I can see the baby bump pretty clearly. Now, uh, I've got the power at about 7 uh, on the Poco V10. I am connected with the trigger and I'm going to try taking my shot. My readings are 1 by 1, 20 of the second per shutter. I'm at f3.5 and ISO 100. Let's just test if this aperture works for us. So the whole idea of actually covering the B10 with a paper over here is to prevent light from spilling onto the backdrop and the light is directed more towards the floor and onto the model. So the final images that you see are based using this as a go-between or a go-bo as they call it. One light again, we're using uh, an extra extra large umbrella, a uh, Procore umbrella, with a Procore V10. Now I've fitted the Procore V10 into the white umbrella, but I've refused to use the, but I've refrained from using the diffuser, which will help soften the light. In, in fact, I want slightly harsher shadows and slightly harsher light than usual, and hence set up this way. And what I've also got here is a bobo or a bow between, which is like a styrofoam board, but I've only blocked about. 30 to 40 percent of the umbrella and preventing that light from spilling over onto the backdrop. So as you can see, the styrofoam board is actually covering just about 40% of the light. The remaining 60% is facing the front of the paper roll. And we're going to be setting this up uh, for a reason. We want to see a certain type of shadow play happening on the backdrop with this particular setup. Look three, we've got the same Prophoto Extra Large Umbrella with the Prophoto B10 and we have the model. Just note how the angle of the umbrella stands, it's not directly pointed towards her but it's actually pointed away towards the photographer. And I've cut the light again from the backdrop by simply placing this go between the styrofoam board over here. So let's see what this one looks like. like this video and if you want to see more videos like this please do leave 
your comments in the comment section below and if you do something different i'd love to see what it is don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video